thanks for clicking on my channel, Joy's Way. I'm Joy. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning supporter of mine, welcome back, awesome person. So today I'm going to do a few things because I haven't videoed in a while and I have some shit that I want to do, but I don't want to make like a whole bunch of videos. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is what influencer sent me. I was beginning to think that they weren't gonna send me anything. It's been like a long time, but this is called the <clears throat> Tangle Teaser. And that's what it looks like. The weird thing is, is they didn't send me an influencer card, you know, but I have the app, so I know what I gotta do. But they sent this Tangle Teaser, the powers in the teeth, easy to use, wide tooth comb, 3C to 4C hair. hair dual-sided detangling. I don't know what type of hair I have, but I'm going to use it in just a second, actually. I'm going to show you. And then they sent me the Tangler Teaser Wet Detangling Hairbrush, which I will never use this on my wet hair. I do not. Um, I may try it once, and if it works good, send it to my daughter. But we're going to test out this comb. It's really cool wick on my hair and I washed it and it's been 24 hours so I can put a brush to it and or a comb and as you can tell it is tangly so let's get it that's a big comb let's get a better look at that comb it's got this side and this side so let's just separate my hair and then let's go through Oh. Now, I don't think it's that bad of a comb. I don't use combs very often, but it seems to be working pretty good. Oops. Uh-oh. I don't know. I just tangled it up in my long hair. Maybe it's not made for um, long hair. I have no clue. I'm going to try this side and just brush through that. I usually, if I, when I brush it with a brush, I start down here. But I wanted to see what it would do with them and tangles. All right. Okay. So that is, oh, look at all the hair that came out. But I have a lot of hair that always comes out. But really quick, even though I don't have wet hair, I just want to see what this does. Let me get it open. Well, that was a chore. So let me go over here, actually. So I'd probably take my hair like this. Well, not probably, I would. And I go like this. Start at the bottom and work my way up. This is actually a cool little brush. It's perfect in like the palm of my hand. That comb is huge. Feels good on my scalp too. Probably because all those bristles are so close together. Okay. Let's see. That's about good enough. There's that. And then there's the comb side. So it did get all the tingles out and it did it in a couple of minutes. Then I want to show you what I got in my September 2022 BoxyCharm base box. I actually got a really good box this month. The, oh, what is it? Well, that's what the card looks like. And it is, um, strut your, strut your runway. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to go with the, um, top of the card to the bottom. And I have variation 14. So let me get my hair out of the way. All right, so first thing on the list is the Wonder Beauty on the Glow Blush and Illuminator. And that is what the packaging looks like. The color is Bear. And, oh, that's cute. But that's what that looks like. So let's see. the That is the blush, which is right there. And... This is going to be the highlight. I don't know yet. I'm probably going to use it. I've been using everything that I get lately. Because, like, my skin has changed. Um, 
you haven't been watching my videos or if you're new here, I changed like my whole entire diet for stomach issues and like my whole entire skin type has changed. Anyways, this beautiful little thing is worth $38. All right, I'm going to save the best for last. So the Siete London Bamboo Bronzer is the next on the list and hopefully it is better than their eyeshadow palettes. I've never tried a bronzer from them. Their packaging is always oh so cute. Look at that. You can see everything. My dirty table. I forgot what it was. <laughs> Anyways, the packaging is always cute, but I do not like their eyeshadow palettes at all. It does come with a mirror, and that is the bronzer. It's so adorable. It has little stars in it. Yes, I have already opened this box. I mean, I always do. When I get packages, I just like can't leave them there. And this beautiful thing they say is worth $32. All right. The next thing is the, this thing right here. And it is called the Vintage by Jessica Libeskind Sparkling Lip Gloss. Okay. Don't really like lip glosses. I have been wearing them here and there every once in a while because like I'll, misplace my oils and I need something on my lips. Oh, that is super pretty though. It is what that looks like. And the color is pink sequin. I don't know. Can you? Well, anyways, that's what that is. And this cute little thing is supposed to be worth $25. Alrighty. Then we have the Basic Beauty Gel Lip Duel. So that's kind of cool. I don't, I don't know. I don't really use, um, I don't use some things all the time, like lip liners, because I have really big lips already, so I really don't need to make them bigger. But anyways, those are the shades. And this one is like a dark brown, and it is in the shade um, Cocoa. I don't know if you can see that or not. And this one is a lighter brown. And it is in the shade Latte. So it's um, coffee themed. And most people like coffee. Not all, but most people. And then this thing right here, the Duo, is worth $24. And then the best thing in this box is the Ace Beauté um, Violet Sage Palette. They packaged it nicely. That's a better look of it. And... I am super excited. I haven't actually opened opened it. I just seen what it um, was. And then I watched some videos because, you know, I watch videos too. And then, so I already knew what it was going to look like. So it does come with a mirror. It does have a plastic thingy. Give me a second. Just here. And there are all of the beautiful colors. Can you see them? Oh, like right down my alley. Calling my name. <laughs> So that is what I got in my boxy charm base box for September. And let me quickly add this up. I believe it's $144. If it's wrong, I'll put the right price somewhere up here. That was Riri coming in and out. She's been being a bad girl lately. She's starting to run off. So she don't get to go outside as much as she used to. And when she does, she's on a chain. I don't know what got into her, but the last month or so, she has changed. But the next thing that I want to do is play with my makeup. So if you would like to jump off now because you already seen my influencer got me and my boxy charm got me, peace out. I love you. If you'd like to stick around and watch me play with this palette and probably everything in this box, actually. Why not? Like, I mean, I get it. I need to use it right. So... I'm gonna pull this and get it ready. I need to, this was like a last minute thing. I wasn't sure if I was going to videotape this week or not. I know it's only been like three weeks or something, or maybe even longer, I don't remember. Um, but I already know it's been a minute since I have put out a video. I just, honestly, I just haven't felt like it to be 100% honest. I'm gonna throw this on. Right, and then, so I have my mirror down here. 
Oops, it's falling. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my makeup on and talk and see what I can end up with. Starting with my Ace Beauty, which is this right here. It is the eye primer, and it is the best eye primer in the whole world, according to me. I know my opinion don't matter for much, but it matters enough for me. I think I'm going to need to get a new one soon, though. It's full, but it's starting to like... You know, makeup goes bad. Certain makeup does, most definitely. And plus, I ain't been using it. I haven't been wearing makeup. Like, I was getting all excited because I was supposed to be on first shift. But you know what? They're not putting me on first shift now for a minute because we're so short-handed on third. And they don't like to pull from one shift to help out another shift if they're all short-handed. They like to just keep everybody where they're at. Hire new people in. So they're like, well, we got to get some more people hired in on third shift. But the problem is, is they do. They get people hired in, but nobody wants to stay. So I've got like butthurt. Honestly, I got pissed and I was just like, I ain't doing nothing. I was mad world even though the world didn't do anything to me but that's how my brain works I am going to start off using my oh I forgot what this came from I think it's BH Cosmetics or HB Cosmetics I don't know but anyways I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this brush right here and what do I want to do what do I want to do it's so pretty okay I think I'm gonna do I'm going to use a violet mess. And this color right here. So, oh, it's so pretty. But anyway, so like I was saying, so I got like buttered and I decided I wasn't going to do anything and I hate my life and uh, I figured nobody would miss me on YouTube anyways. And, you know, so I, I just went through like, I guess, it's a little like poor me moment for a couple of weeks because I didn't get my way. I'm like a damn little toddler. So, this color is very, very pretty though. I really like it. I like it a lot. The purple is my favorite color. It does seem to be a little patchy to be honest though. But right now I'm trying to fix that. All right, so because I don't want to make this video too long, like normal, I just went ahead and finished everything up. I'm going to go in with, I can't, I have no idea. I think it's Wisteria. It's a shiny. And I'm going to go ahead and just put that on my eye. I'm going to put it all over my eye. Because you know I like my shiny. And I couldn't find a brush that I thought would work with this, so the next best thing is your finger. Oh, I just so pretty. Thank you. Oh, look at that. It's like mixing the pink and the purple. Oh, so pretty. So to make it quick, I hurry up and finish my eyes and I used my Lunar Magic Vava Paint Lash Primer and then one of my favorite lash camera, or what is it, Light Camera Lashes by Tarte. Okay, then I want to play with my Wonder Beauty on the Glow and I'm going to go ahead and start off with the blush and this is super pretty I do want to just show you like how pretty that is but I'm going to actually I don't want to take it up too high twist it just a little bit and when I do my cream blushes or anything I put it on my brush like so because if not I feel like it's way too much so I went ahead and did that and we're just going to tap up here now, if you don't know, the reason I'm going up higher is because I have maturing, aging skin. I am 43, and as you get older, things sag, including your face. So, 
if you put your makeup up a little higher, then it just makes it look like your face ain't as droopy as it really is. So I do it that way. And I learned that by watching like professional MUAs online and seeing how they put makeup on their models that have mature skin. So we're going to call that good. That's the blonde. Well, actually, this doesn't even really look like I have that much on. Huh? Let's try a little more. This is like a, I don't know what color it would be, but anyways, it's that color and it went on very well. Now, um, oh, I'll talk about it at the end, I guess. So then we're going to use the highlight and the highlight, let me put it right next to this. So that's what the highlight looks like. Super shiny. I don't think I've ever used any Wonder Beauty except for um, a couple times in Wonder Beauty Mile Higher Mascara. I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go ahead, tap it, get some of that highlight on that brush. And then I'm going to put it right here and then I'm going to blend it in. And definitely, maybe I'll actually, I'm lying. I'm just going to go ahead and put that right on there. I like highlights, so I like it to show that it's on my face if I'm going to wear it. That is pretty, right? Hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this to the next side. So I got to mess around with it. I don't, I don't think it's as popping as I would like it to be, but I do think that it's good enough. Okay, let's see. We have next, I need to get, mm, oh, okay. hmm. we're going to use the um, Seate London Bronzer. I normally bronze first, but I wasn't sure about the, um, blush and how dark it was going to be. And you can take the bronzer. Ooh, it's dusty. Look. All right. So we're going to take a little bit. We're going to tap it. It's dark. All right. We're not going to use any more. <laughs> we're just going to see. I'm blended in now. I think that this is not my shade. I don't know if maybe if I go into it light handed, if it'll work for me. That is so dark. All right, I'm gonna have to, cause that's nowhere near as dark. Unfortunately, I'm going to put a little bit more right here and try to make it as dark as the other side so it looks even. Yeah, that's definitely not my color at all. But you know what? Shit happens, right? I can just take it off as soon as I'm done with the video. But it did go on pretty good. I mean, it's very pigmented. I don't know if I do it light handed, if it will be different, but that color is um, bamboo and that is just not my color. Here, let's swatch it. Oh yeah, I guess I should have swatched it first out of no one. Definitely not my color. If there's anybody out there that thinks that it is their color, let me know and I'll send it to you. All right. Then we have the lip liners. What did I do with them? Oh, they're some bags. God, I don't like that at all. Let's see. Uh, let me take, I'm going to take a paper towel. I'm going to see if I can fix this because that is not my color at all. I just went ahead and just added it to the other side of my face. Like, that's what you need to do. I mean, if first gets worse, I guess I could just take it all off, but I guess a little better. It's toned down. Okay. All right. So we're going to use the latte because that's the lighter brown. This one, we're going to use this to. Oh, it's pointed. I didn't show you guys earlier. Oh, I ruined it. Uh, there's that. Put on my lips. So, because I'm not trying to make my lips look bigger, um, 
I just line it with my actual lip line instead of going like some girls go behind it to make it look bigger. And if you're one of them like girls that think they need their lips to look bigger, go for it. If you have bigger lips and you just want to try out some lip liner, then you can line it with your natural lip. And this is what the, um, I don't know what that's called, thing looks like. We're going to try this. Oh, it's like a, um, I can't think of anything. It's like painting your nails. Mm, what did I do with that paper towel? I didn't do it all. I got, I got brown on it, so I want to try to clean that off before I stick it back in there. See? Oh, cleaned it off. Alrighty. I don't know. I'm, I like that brush. I like that brush. That might make me like this lip gloss. So this is the finished look using all the products from my BoxyCharm base box because it was a month of makeup, which has not happened in damn six months or longer where I only got makeup. So I am super excited about this month's box. And let me tell you a little bit about the products. So the Ace Beauté, um, Violet Sage palette is absolutely stunning and it is very pigmented, blends very easily. I use these two colors to make my look. The Wonder Beauty on the Glow Blush and Luminizing Stick I am impressed with. It gives you the um, highlight gives you more of a natural highlight than more of like a popping highlight and that's good too and the blush was a perfect color for me now the everything has just decided to fall the Siate London bronzer was just way too dark for me so like I said if you think that bamboo is your color let me know and the first person that lets me know will be the first person that I send it to. I give up. Anyways, then I had the um, Latte Lip Liner. And that's not bad. I don't normally do <laughs> everything's falling again. <sighs> if I would clean my nasty ass desk, right? Um, and then we had this. I just had it. I just. Oh, here it is. Nope, that's not it. I put it down. I lost it. <laughs> oh. Well, for the love of joy, I can't find the actual lip gloss. Maybe that's what fell and it's on my floor hiding in boxes. But this vintage pink lip gloss that I put on, um, it's really not that sticky. I mean, it's a little sticky. But it's really not that sticky. So I was like super duper impressed with my whole entire box. I'm pretty much happy with the look that I created. Probably going to change the lipstick before I go grocery shopping, honestly. But yeah. Anyways, I do hope that you enjoyed watching me do this multitasking type of video. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Remember that I do love you. Remain awesome and peace out, awesome girl.